to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. The most powerful weapon known to man is not the intelligent response, the emotional response, the aggressive response. This love is the power of God working in you, transforming you, and changing you. Remember what the Bible says? The goodness of God causes a man to change his mind. The 2020 Vision Partner Program at Creflo Dollar Ministries is more than a program. It's a relationship designed to make a high impact in your life, our lives, and the lives of millions around the world. Text 2020 Partner to 51555 to become a 2020 Vision Partner today. So let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know your love is here to stay. Ooh, it's time we live a new life. Let us love shine bright in you. We're saved by His grace, so we embrace your love today. We are changed. When you walk around, hey, glory to God, excuse me, that was for me. When you walk around people that don't know God, and you know God, and you practice his presence every day, I tell you, people who are demon-possessed and influenced, will, will, they'll tell on themselves. Your presence should demand an explanation. And that is what is about to happen. There's going to be a separation from the wheat and the tares. Glory be to God. The world, we're not going to be like the world. There's going to be an obvious difference between them and us. Glory to God. And in the middle of the grocery store, you'll speak to sickness and it'll leave. In the middle of the parking lot, you'll lay hands on somebody that's suicidal and the joy of the Lord will come. I'm telling you, God's getting ready to use your church. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Jesus is about to rise on the inside of you. Listen, some of y'all think y'all got to do something in order for, to experience the love of God. God doesn't love us because of what we do. Listen, you can never, God will never love you any more than what he already loves you, and he'll never love you any less. God's love is constant and it's done, and it won't change because of what you do, good or bad. Things, things are going to happen that are going to be weird, weird in their eyes, expected in our eyes. You ought to walk out here today, uh-uh. You, 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 you should walk out today expecting something. I'm expecting something. Some of y'all don't know what that looked like. But there was a time, Ken, where you, we, used to, we used to go to the grocery store and see a world changer ministering to somebody in the aisle. You remember that guy that used to cry all the time? And he got rejected sometimes. You want to be saved? No, I want to be saved. Get the blank, blank out of my face. That's fine. Maybe you were sowing the seed. Some plant. Some water. But God gives the increase. All right, now watch this. Galatians chapter 5 and 6. Let's explain how this works. It is the most powerful weapon that we can have. It's powerful, absolutely powerful. I've seen it work in my life over and over again. A very simple pause to say and declare, God loves me. It's going to be all right. I might be right in the middle, getting ready to have an argument with Taffy, and I say, God loves me, and then everything calmed down. 
And then they come back up again. I said, God, you, know, I, you love me, right? <laughs> and she on the other side said, God love me. And I have seen God work stuff out with us being on the opposite side of something and believing the love of God. And all of a sudden it did what it needed to do. I've seen it work in relationships. I've seen it work. Sometimes you got to, listen, just because he don't do it when you want him to do it doesn't mean he's not doing it. A delay is not a denial. Amen. And some of y'all are in that delay lap. Why, why are you delaying? You ain't ready yet. You might need to mature a little bit more. This thing might be able to help you or destroy you. You praying for stuff that you're not mature enough to have right now. That don't mean you stop praying. You just start thanking God for it. And whatever you're going through, let it mature you. Let it mature you. We got to mature. Nobody was born again fully mature. It get me. Some people get saved, get baptized, ain't even dried off good. Want to come to church and tell me something? <laughs> Still dripping water. Ain't even. What you, you, what? Don't, don't come telling me something because you went on the internet. And you. You studied some stuff. I'm not talking about your knowledge of God. I'm past that. See, when you're mature, then you'll understand it's just not knowledge. Because what, what good does it do for me to have the Greek and Hebrew knowledge of the Old Testament versus the New Testament when I'm in the middle of a, of a ditch and none of that can get me out? It's good to have, but I want to know him with my knowledge. I want to take my knowledge and turn it into intimate relationship. I'm going to stay on this until you get it because I believe that a lot of things in our life can be resolved through an intimate relationship with him. A lot of things can be resolved through an intimate relationship with him. Do you know him? When I was taking communion this morning, I got so I got so choked up because I realized, and I, I knew this, but I realized you took all of my sins and the whole world's sin, those who were present in the world and those who were not, on your body. He said, and if I be, be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all man's sin unto me. And I had that bread in my hands. Well, it was a cracker this morning. The other day it was a pistachio. Um, <laughs> but do this in remembrance of me. And I realized you were broken with my sins and the sins of the world on your body so I can be whole. You know what I said after that? I said, Lord, Forgive me for even declaring that I'm broken. I'm whole. I don't care how bad it hurt. I don't care how t bad it was. I refuse to declare that I am broken after seeing how broken you were so I can be made whole. Everybody say, I'm whole. I'm whole. Say it again, I'm whole. Now, now, some of you may not feel like you whole. The situation may not look like it's whole. Nothing missing, nothing broken. But just go ahead and declare. R relationships that are broken with family members, just say, I'm whole. Say, say I'm whole, I'm whole. Oh. After he did all of that, you dare to get in yourself and say, I'm broken because I ain't had no daddy when I was growing up. I'm broken. Yeah, come my mama died early and left me. I'm broken because I was betrayed. I'm broken. No! Jesus was whipped with a cat of nine tails. He was mugged, beat up, swollen, 
And if that wasn't enough, nailed to a cross, stripped naked, pulled up in front of everybody in that naked body, would not die or come off that cross until he absorbed every sin that your, 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 your wickedness or imagination could come up with. And once he got everything that could ever happen to you, then he laid his head in the lumps of his shoulders and he died. And he stepped off that cross looking just like a sinner because of all of the stuff he absorbed. Looked like a sinner so hell would accept him. And hell turned around and accepted him in. Glory be to God. And he spent three days and three nights for you and for me. He took all of our sins to hell. Glory to God. He paid a price in the pit of hell with your sin and my sin. And after the price was paid, on the third day, he got up from the dead. Glory to God. He got up from the dead as King of kings and Lord of lords, victorious over all of our sins. And you dare say you're broken? whole I've experienced his love <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness I've experienced his love oh I don't know nobody who's going to die for me and go to hell. I, they might die for me, but going to hell too, dying and going to hell, and then spending some time there. And Satan said, I finally got it. We got him. We got him, y'all. They start giving high fives. Mm. Jesus said, uh, look here. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. I look like sin, don't I? Don't, don't I look like sin? He said, there's only one problem with this. I never sinned. See, what you don't understand is I exchanged my righteousness for the sin of mankind so that I can get his sin, so I can get in here and pay the price for his sin. But in reality, I'm the righteousness of God. Now, I have paid the price for every man's sin. Now, Satan, let them go. Now, here's something you need to read carefully in your Bible. I'm not lying to you. But the Bible says after Jesus got up, there were some other people that got up right behind him. Oh, my God. They were seen who were dead walking in the city. Yeah. Y all, y all, that's what the Bible, that's what the, you say you like the Bible, that's what the Bible say. <laughs> they, they, was, they were seen walking in the city. Now, this ain't in the Bible. I can't approve this going to happen. I can't, I can't prove it's going to happen, but you can't disprove it. I think God love us so much. Just maybe five minutes before we get raptured up because his, his, his will is that no man should perish. That just maybe you who are not born again might see somebody that is gone. As they come and tell you, get saved now. What you doing here, you dead? Forget about them being dead in there. Get saved right now. Why did he allow those who were dead and in Hades to be raised up and be seen walking in the city? I, I, I don't understand why he did that. But I tell you, God's love is so deep that it is not his will that any should perish, but that all should have everlasting life. He's not looking for a way to send you to hell. He's looking for a way for you to get into heaven and to be with him for eternity. 
Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Something coming. Yeah, boy. Something's coming. Yeah, boy. But we will not be afraid. We will not fear because everything we need is in that experience of love. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Somebody shout, everything going to be all right. Somebody shout, I'm all right. I dare you to shout, all is well with me in my house. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm moved by this experience of love. I'm moved by him. I pray every burden be removed. I pray every yoke be destroyed. If you walked in here with any burden, I command those burdens to be removed. You were not created to carry that care. You were not created to carry that burden. Cast that burden on the Lord. All is well. I sense his presence. Oh, my goodness. Oh, glory. Oh, Bishop Kick and Eleba. Dori Kish Eleba Babakush. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible says, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they are but he, come on. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me.
the most powerful weapon known to man is not the intelligent response, the emotional response, the aggressive response. But this love is the power of God working in you, transforming you, and changing you. Remember what the Bible says? The goodness of God causes a man to change his mind. He doesn't change you with badness or God trying to do something or say something to you. He, he, he's going to change your mind about him by doing something good that you probably didn't deserve. Isn't it amazing how when you know you didn't deserve it, he did something outstanding, and you're trying to figure out why. Because God's not good to you because you've been good. That's not saying throw goodness away, but God's good to you because he's good, and his love is constant. Ours fluctuates. But his love is constant. But it was never meant to be just kind of goo goo ga ga about, you know, oh, God's, I love God, I love God, I know he loves me. No, 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 no. It is power to transform and to make the difference in every area of your life. I'm drunk. Uh, in, in the spirit, in the spirit. You have to be careful social media. Take that all by itself and say, see, he even admitted himself. He said he was drunk. I'm drunk in the spirit. <laughs> now watch this real quickly. Got a few more minutes left. Galatians chapter 5 and 6. Now here's where it went wrong. Here's why we're was fighting us from experiencing that love. Galatians 5 and 6, For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision availeth anything, but faith which worketh by love. Faith which worketh by love. And so everybody got into how much they loved God. Oh, I love God. Oh, I love God. And that's cool. But please believe me, you're not just loving God because you know, you decided to love God. The Bible says because he loved us, he enabled us to love him. But, but, but we got off of our love for him came from his love for us. And so we ruined the context of the New, Old and New Testament and, and, and made it all about how much I love God, how much I love God, and put really big pressure on how much I love God, how much I love God. And so, Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 5, write this down, and Matthew 22, 37 and 40, and, and, and here's what he says. For thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of your heart and all of your soul and all of your mind and all of your strength. Nobody in here can do that. Even David, a man after God's own heart, could not love like that. David couldn't love God with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his mind. You got something else in your soul and your mind and, and your heart, and you're not putting all your strength towards loving God. Tell the truth. Are you doing things to try to feel God's love? In his series, How to Experience the Love of God, Creflo Dollar reveals that we don't have to jump through hoops to feel God's love, only believe. 
You got to believe God loves you when it doesn't look good. When you believe the love of God, you say, I believe God's love for me. That's why I know I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be delivered. This is going to be fine. This is going to work out. And God wants to hear that rehearsed and coming out of our mouth. I believe that God loves me. Quit believing God for little. God is a big God, and he's ready to do some big, extraordinary things in your life. But he's waiting for you to believe. That's how big his love is. Go to CreflodollarMinistries.org and click eStore. Or call the number on your screen to claim your copy of all three of these life-changing messages for a love gift of only 20 U.S. dollars or more, plus shipping and handling. Walk in God's love today. Download and stay connected with the Changing Your World podcast with Creflo Dollar. Keep the Word of God at the forefront of your mind with these powerful and uplifting messages. You've got to figure out a way to maintain your meditation on Him. You've got to think on Him. I want my thinking to be on God. I want my thinking to be on His Word. I want my thinking to be on life. I want my thinking to be on His promises. Keep your mind stayed upon Him and walk in His presence. With each message that you download and stream, you gain revelation of the fullness of God's grace. And how many of you know we've got to shine the light out so that we can see God and we can experience His plan for our life and we can see what He wants to do and turn situations around. The Changing Your World podcast brings you life-changing wisdom right at your fingertips, no matter where you are. Subscribe today on Apple Podcast, Spotify, or your preferred podcast platform. Creflo Dollar Global Missions helps people all over the world receive healing and wholeness in every area of life. For example, we help those in need in our communities, those trapped in the sex entertainment industry, and children in orphanages and refugee camps. When we meet the physical needs of those hurting people, it gives us the opportunity to share the gospel of grace with them. So I want to thank you for helping us reach millions with the gospel. Log on to our website at missions.creflodollarministries.org to see all the work we do at Creflo Dollar Global Missions. Thank you for your support. Text to give with SecureGive is a fast, easy way to give from anywhere, anytime. It's just two quick steps. First, text the keyword CDMBC followed by the amount you like to give to 74483. Second, when asked to confirm, just text Y and your transaction is complete. That's all there is to it. Text to give, the fastest, easiest way to give on the go. Because of you, Creflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. The preceding program was brought to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries.